I've got quite a busy week. Can't believe it. Almost got a teenager. Happy twelfth birthday. Whoa. <laughs> 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 My boy wants John Roly Poly on his birthday. Get me a bowl then. Good morning, or actually afternoon now. We're like 20 past 12 ish. How are you all doing? Starting today by, well, not starting, but first outing of the day to the shops pour moi i've got quite a busy week um yeah it's seth's birthday in a couple of days it's actually my mum's birthday today happy birthday happy 60th mum no i'm only joking she will absolutely kill me she is 57 yeah She's gonna kill me for that as well. What am I doing? Oh! Anyway, it's almost my boy's birthday. There's like two days between my mum's birthday and Seth's and he is going to be 12. 12. <sighs> I feel old. I do feel old, but I was a super young mum, okay? Not super young mum, okay? But I was like 22, so. Anyway, guys, I've got so much to update you on, starting with not something so positive, but need to make everyone aware because I could not believe this when this happened to me. So I am, I'm going to jump straight in. I'm like a person who always needs the toilet for a wee. I go for a wee so many times a day, like more than the regular person I've noticed, but I just put it down to having two kids, getting older, having a weak bladder and i think i do drink quite a lot i'm always drinking like bottled water and things but lately it increased quite a lot i'm talking 30 to 40 times a day like within a 24 hour period like night times are horrendous i get up for a week so many times throughout the night and ryan will always like joke with me and say oh Look at you, you like to lay in, don't you? I mean, I get up at like something past six, something past seven, depending on what the morning's like. Whereas he gets up at 4.45 most days. So we always joke around and, you know, he calls me lazy. But I'm like, listen, you sleep like a log and I'm always getting up for a wee during the night. So my sleep is always disturbed. And I find that I have my best sleep in those early morning hours because... There's nothing left in my bladder, so that's when I get my most solid sleep, if you like. But yeah, lately it has increased, so Ryan was like, well, that's not normal. I was like, yeah, but it is for me, isn't it? Because we always joke around if we're going out. He's like, have you been for a wee? So I thought, Do you know what? I might as well just book a doctor's appointment. Went to the doctor's, did a urine sample on a stick, straight away all the colours came up for urine infection she was like yep you've got a urine infection I was like really but I've not had any pain because I remember years ago the last time I can think back to having a water infection and it was painful like excruciating whereas this time I've had zero pain it's just the irritation of needing a wee all the time so I thought I'd better tell you, in case anyone else is the same as me, like if you're one of these people that go for a wee all the time, check, because the scary thing is, I think I've had this water infection for months and months, if not longer. <sighs> what a way to start a vlog, it's making me need a wee. Anyway, I am on seven tablets a day now to completely get rid of it because the doctor said with me probably having it for quite a long time we need to take action so I'm on antibiotics two tablets three times a day and then this like high strength cranberry pill thing so here's the thing it scared me I thought what am I going to do in the future because obviously I'm not going to know if I've got one or not because there's no pain so I ordered these strips. I will link them down below in the description box. I feel like it's super important to have these 
in the house at all times if you haven't already not just for me but for the whole family because these strips you just test your wheat at home you get a little pot you can get I've ordered a pot of a hundred <laughs> and it just checks for dehydration water infection and various other things and they've just got colors on there so really important to have them in the house if you haven't already and I will leave the ones that I got linked down below in the description box it just means you can check at home without making a doctor's appointment you know if you just like got a thought and you want to check you're like have I but you don't want to waste time yeah easy off to the shops because I feel a bit scatty because it's Seth's birthday coming up I haven't got any appropriate wrap I was looking through my wrap drawer I've got tons of wrap tons of Christmas wrap tons of plain wrap haven't really got a nice birthday wrap so I need that need some random stuff today some socks some pants some dog shampoo just a few bits and then also this week me and Ryan have got a real quick trip to Paris um he's got an appointment with work so yeah lots on guys lots on smaller as they get older that's for sure look at Sylvia down here hello gorgeous you always find the comfiest little spot don't you hey what's wrong with that gorgeous bed over there <laughs> hi you're so cute sorry everybody I've not really spoke too much on this vlog because it's just turned into a bit of a crazy couple of days. Yesterday was lovely though. We took Seth out with one of his friends. Nancy came, we did like loads of fun stuff. We went to a jump park, he had loads of games there. And then we went for a burger. I was actually really good. I didn't have one, but they looked amazing. And I tried a couple of the chips, which were like drizzled in cheese sauce with bacon bits on and I tried a little bit of the milkshake it's like um, steak and shake like American diner so they loved it and then we had Seth's friend back at the house and they had a bit of time gaming stayed for taste they just had a really fun packed day together he loved it and then today still waiting for him to wake up he's gonna open his presses and i think it's just going to be a chilled one unless he wants to go anywhere or do anything um but yeah i need to make a couple of jam roly polies as well because that's seth's favorite pudding like ever he loves it pure stodge jam custard so that shouldn't take me long i'm going to make an extra one as well because rye's brother's staying with us and he loves jam roly poly too and yeah 
gonna have a cute day still waiting for the boy to wake up I might go and wake him up now because this is getting silly i've been pottering about all morning but my boy our boy is 12 i can't believe it can't believe it almost got a teenager yeah cute do you think we should have another one now on what? Another child. No. What do you mean no? No. I always get mad when Ryan says no. I'm like, what do you mean? Do you I'm mean? trying to... I don't like the word no on the situation. Uh, Alright. Not no, I'm at quite the happy moment, with the two. Darling. Not at the moment. I'm not sure how many good eggs I've got left. <laughs> I don't think we need another. It's what I'm best at. I am, I, like, I was made to be a mum, I'm best at it. I love babies too, I love them. Happy birthday. Happy 12th birthday. Are you getting up? Oh, my little sleepy head. Oh, come on. Are you getting up? We've been waiting for you. Morning! Oh. <laughs> Nancy has got just a little gift because it's something I've always done but it does stop this year because it's ridiculous. It started when they were both little and obviously they don't understand why one's got presents and the other one hasn't. So she has just got um, a bunch of face masks and skincare in there and a toiletry bag. Oh, look who's here. This is good. This is good, is it? It's sit awesome. down. Enjoy oh, just it. Sit down. I can't like, Sit there. I've left you a little space look. It's all socks and pants anyway, mate. No, so. it's not. Sit yeah, down. First off, I'm opening this. Oh. What, is this for me? Yeah, of course. Okay. <gasps> look who's here. I forgot it was Seth's birthday. Yeah. If I knew it was Seth's birthday, and I would have woke How up at 7 a.m. Really? Yeah. Wait, were you excited for Seth's birthday? Yeah. Oh! What is it? <gasps> it's a sneaker cleaner, you can see right there. It's, just, it's, a... it's a what? Sneaker cleaner, mate. You know, all the presents <laughs> already. You're the one who gets me all of them. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, because I know I'll use it. I thought it was really cool. I'm gonna open this one now. Ooh, yeah. Little this? little one for Nancy. I spotted that. Did yeah. you? Can we say this? this is the last year that we're doing this. We stop. We stop at ten. Seth, ten years each. Yeah. What is this? I don't understand. Thank you. Thank you. Don't open. Well, this logo's quite. Uh, got the right version. Yay! just try and do it as off not too often because I mean it's 12 but I try and keep doing it regular because I think that happens with your kids like they get to a certain age and cuddles do start to feel a bit like uh, you know so don't leave the gap too long or you've lost it for the rest of your life it'll be awkward cuddles and I want to be able to give my son a hug when he's 20 30 bought it and it just feel normal so that's my game plan 
just never leave the gap too big and keep cuddling through it. You know, same with Nancy. We can end the chat, can't we? Polis, all wrapped up in neat parcels, ready to go in the oven for about an hour actually, and a whole lot of mess <laughs> to clean up. Um, but yeah, Seth prefers these to any birthday cakes. So if my boy wants John Roly Poly on his birthday, that's what he gets. I've got a feeling this could turn into a Seth birthday tradition because. He is obsessed. I'll show you when they're done. Definitely not good for you. Definitely not anti-inflammatory. Like, avoid. This is pure, naughty comfort food, but honestly, it is so, so good. It's a proper, old-school British pud. Oh, oh, no, it's not done. It's worked. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that has worked. Should we cut your piece off? Yeah. What do you want, an end or a middle or what? Middle. You want a middle? Mm -hmm. I don't like the end bit. You can have whichever piece you want, that, that middle to that middle there. Mm. Yeah? Is this your piece? Yeah. Do you want it? Yes. Look at that perfect jammy swirl. Oh my gosh, sir. That good. That good? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Just for you, darling. Oh. Happy birthday. Gonna go tell them to put them on the Ryan, are you having some? Yes, I am. This is Ryan's piece. He likes cold custard on his. Simple. Definitely not the usual healthy content that I like to share on my channel. I love leaving you with healthy anti-inflammatory recipes that are absolutely gorgeous. And that doesn't quite fit, but we can't not share the jam roly poly. Seth loves it. But I am going to leave you with a good one. It's a gorgeous salad that I made the other day. It ticks all the boxes and it's still quite a, quite a comforting salad as well. So I'll leave you with that. Some of you might have already seen it because I did share it on my Instagram and my TikTok. But I know a lot of you aren't over there. So I will leave all the recipes as well in the description box down below if you want to try anything. And I'm going to spend some time with my birthday boy and enjoy the day. Me and Ryan have also got some sorting to do because we've got a parish trip coming up very, very soon, which is probably going to be the next vlog that you see after this one. We've also got a couple of Q and A's to film as well. Like we had so many questions from you over on Instagram. Um, so us as a family and also lots of questions about moving to France. So we've got a couple of those to film and if you do want to participate in the Q&A and you've got anything you'd like to ask, I will leave a question box over on my Instagram story. So bob me any final questions there. I will get them all put together for you and we will slot them in through the week. But um, as always, thank you for catching up and checking in. I know it's been a little bit of a bitty bobby vlog this one. 
but I uh, love you all so much and I will see you all in Paris. Bye guys.